Good morning guys, how are we doing? Now I've got to be a bit quiet this morning because it is currently half four in the morning. That is right, I look like poo and it's a very unacceptable time to wake up but when you've got a film, you've got a film and today I'm going to the Isle of Wight. Um, I've been to the Isle of Wight quite a lot in the last like year or so but I'm going back to the Isle of Wight. Um, we are seeing someone make a skate park today. That is right, a skate park. Which is awesome. I can't skate to save my life. So this is going to be funny. This is going to be interesting. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go to the Isle of Wight. We, well, I say we, me and my manager, Fred. Uh, <laughs> we're, on the, we're on the train. Um, I've never had a whole carriage. Hey, I, think I think we have the whole carriage. I've never had a whole carriage to myself. Look, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in first class, guys. I'm a massive big shot now. Um, so, yeah, anyway. It's going to take about, it's about an hour and a half. An hour and a half, two, two hours? What? Uh, two hours um, to get to the Isle of Wight. We've got to get the train, then we have to get ferry and different things like that. Hopefully the sea won't be that choppy because the last time I went on a boat, the last time I went on like a really crazy boat was when I was a lot younger. I was doing some sea fishing with my dad. Welcome and aboard the Southwest train Would you service please shut up? Um, Waverton, Waterlock, Thames, Weybridge, Woking, Brookwood, Farnborough, Fleet, Winchfield, Hook, Basingstoke, Mitchell Dever, Winchester, Shawford, Eastleigh, Southampton Airport, Parkway, Swaveling, St. Denny's, Southampton Central, Done yet. Red Bridge, Totten, Ashurst, New Forest, Bewley Road, Brockenhurst, Sway, New Milton, Hinton, Admiral, Christchurch, This is ridiculous. Star, How many bloody Boston, stops are there? Brexton, Flipping out. Buxton, Poole, Hamworthy, Alton Heath, Wareham, Wool. What the fuck? Any more? My God. After all, we go on to call it Morton, Dorchester, South. We're doing more stops now. So yeah, back to my story of my boat trip. Um, I went fishing with my dad, like, not so long ago. You go on these, like, sea boats and you go out and you can do lots of, well, basically just fishing. And I was I was quite young. Um, and I'd never done it before, so I didn't realise and I never knew that I had seasickness. So we got on this boat anyway. We went out to sea, um, cast my line out. I was the first person on the whole boat to catch a fish and it was a tropical fish it was like a massive like multicolored fish and because it was tropical we had to put it back and then from there on for the like, next three hours I was just throwing up everywhere and basically the back of the boat is like meant to be like the most like not so rocky bit of it uh, but that's where they were chopping up the fish and where a couple of Americans were eating uh, burgers um, so the combination together didn't go very well and it was a very crazy trip. But hopefully this ferry is not gonna be like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. So, slight issue, we've just come to the conclusion that we may potentially be on the wrong train. Um, I, you know, I made that judgment because we're stopping at like 50 stops. And normally when you're going kind of a long distance, you get like the Virgin trains, which are like very fast. And this is, pretty damn slow and it's, it's quite an old train as well well thanks Sophie <laughs> we're probably on the right train though to be honest we did get on the wrong train guys <laughs> so we have to get off uh, in like half an hour or so and then just basically wait for like 15 minutes and get another one we're on the right train yeah so we are now off the train it is indeed Nearly nine o'clock, um, so we were a little bit late for the original ferry. Yeah. We just found out yeah. that the ferry we were meant to get on, which was like half, was it like half an hour ago, which was like half an hour ago, actually broke down. So we would have have to have waited here for an hour. So it was good that we got on the wrong train. We have arrived on the ferry. Here we are. Oh, I'm already feeling seasick. We're on the Isle of Wight, and the first thing. I love about this place is there's conkers. Well, they're already crushed, but hopefully, no, there is none. There's literally no conkers left. I need to find at least one. I've found one, look at this. And there's another one. And there's another one there, <laughs> I'm finding loads now. And there's another one. Okay, I completely lied with saying there was no more conkers left. Oh, I'm like getting blind right now. Um, it's so bright, but this is awesome. We are by the sea. I can see the sea, this is amazing. Unfortunately, we don't have sand, but we have rocks, which is the next best thing. But look at that. 
That is so pretty. I'm gonna give you guys a crash course on how to skim rocks. Are you ready? You gotta find a rock that's flat. None of these rocks look flat, so we're gonna use this one. That is really not flat. And then you just throw it. Oh God, I'm doing it with my left hand. You ready? And, woo! And that was a complete fail. Now, I always thought that boats were meant to sit on the water. Not this one, it just contains water. And uh, there it looks like there's a lot of flies in there. I don't think that is gonna be floating. Somewhere. This is James, everyone. How are you doing? What's up, guys? So, um, he has the task of creating, well, you're like redesigning a skate park? Uh, <laughs> improving. Yeah. Improving. The, the word there. So what, what are we doing? You just told me what you're doing. If you, if you could tell everyone right, so what the plan is. We're putting a hip. A hip, that's the one. Move, uh, the rail, make a street section over there. Okay. Change the transitions on the back quarter. Right. Uh, and just kind of clean up the park. Yeah. Bit, yeah. I'm just going to pretend I know what that means. Um, By the end of the day, you will. Yeah, I probably will. And I, I'm even going to have a go skateboarding. You are. I'll teach you to Ollie. I, to go with your name. Yeah. That would be. What is it? Is it just a jump? It's just a pop. Yeah. Just, it's it's just really easy. It's really easy. Okay, so we have a lot of work going on here. Um, so as Jim said, I think they're taking this pole out, putting it there. This ramp's all being built. So look, this is how a skate park is made. With the metal bars and then wood. And then other things are going over there. So for the purpose of everyone watching, I'm gonna pretend I am on a skateboard. I'm not on a skateboard, but I'm gonna pretend. Ready, go. Oh my God, this is a big one. Hold on. Run, 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 run. Oh no, I've, no, I've missed. Oh my God, I, ne I nearly, I think I nearly killed myself. But I am skateboarding. I was on a skateboard, was in Santa Monica, and it was like one of the like really small like penny board things. Um, I did all right, but I did fall off a couple of times. And if you've ever been to Santa Monica, there's just tons of people and they're all cycling, skating, different things like that. And if you can't keep up and you're not good, you, you cut, you cut out of it, you can't do it. Oh, he's got the skills. Oh. He's going. I'm going into the wall. That's not going to happen. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay, so we've come to another room now um, with loads of colourful boards. Where are these boards going? I'm not. Where are they going? Okay, they're going on the railings at the end of the ramp, and I have been given the task to paint this. I don't think I've ever used a paintbrush in my life. Oh yes, look at that! <laughs> I can now officially call myself a painter. I think I could be a painter, but actually no, I couldn't. That's a complete lie. I don't think I'd have the patience. I'd just get bored. Everything's coming together. It's very noisy. But uh, at the moment they're cutting this pole, I presume they're making it smaller. And then here, they're weldering. Look how cool that looks. I would love to be a welderer. Is that even what they're called? Welderer? Welder man? Well, this is about as good as the beach gets for us, guys. Um, I want to find a crab, at least one crab. I don't know if we even get crab. <gasps> what is this creature? Look, snails. That's about all we got here. Right, we've actually got on the right train, which is a good start. Um, we haven't left yet, but we will be leaving in a minute. So that's it, Isle of Wight, goodbye. Uh, it was nice meeting James today, and the skate park is looking awesome. So I can't wait to see the final product. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go home. It's probably gonna be quite late when I get home as well, so yeah, I think I just need to cook some food. And you know me, that doesn't end well when I cook food. So currently, the train has stopped, and <laughs> I'm the only one here. I am uh, pretty scared right now. Also, there's no power, so my laptop's not charging, and I have 20%, which is great. Another thing, um, my manager, Sophie, she has my train ticket. So I have no idea how I'm gonna go through the barriers. If they, I swear, if they charge me, I'm going to be very angry. I'm going to kick off. And I'm home. It is now. Um, it's half eleven. I was meant to be back at half eight. I'm three hours late. Um, I've been travelling for six and a half hours. 
So all I need now is my bed. Right. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed today. I have had fun. I hope you've had fun as well. I will see you next time. Good night. No, it's a high rail. It would help because it would make it more of a jump box yeah. as opposed to a quarter pipe. So I'm thinking if we can move the rail, the hip could go quite well here. People wanted it half the height. Oh, God. Bit of a challenge, but uh, 